people wonder in presenting the gospel, what should be our approach? Um, do we need to develop clever arguments? Is there some kind of mental manipulation that we need to get engaged in? Or do we need to kind of hide some of the very difficult truth like sin and judgment and eternal hell and go to the good stuff to try to attract somebody? You know, all of that is useless because you're talking to a dead person. You're talking to someone that Ephesians 2 says is dead in trespasses and sins, who is a child of wrath, who is a son of Satan. You're talking to someone, Paul said, who is blinded by their fallenness and double blinded by the God of this world, lest the light of the glorious gospel should shine unto them. You don't have, by the strength of your arguments or the manipulation that you might do in someone's mind, the ability to break through and produce life in that spiritual deadness. That's a miracle of God. Only God can give life. Only God can awaken the dead sinner. The only thing that the Lord asks us to do is not to awaken the dead sinner, not to argue the dead sinner into believing something, but to present the gospel. And again, Romans 1 says, I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God unto salvation. You're not the power. Your arguments aren't the power. The gospel is the power that the Spirit of God uses to give life in those whom he wills to save. Present the gospel. What you need to be concerned about is a clear, full presentation of the gospel, and that's what the Holy Spirit will use to do his work as he wills.